Hello there everybody and welcome back to Stronghold's Dungeons. We're going to jump in again with the curses enabled because I need to get a win with either the book or the coin here. So, we're going to try with the book. That book is going to give us the corruptions, which I have no idea what they do. So we'll find out. But we're going to start off as we always do with the strikes doing three and one for some reason it's normally one and one half the time but uh, uh ooh, ooh. do we pray ooh i'm gonna take zombies I had to really think about which direction I wanted to go here, and I have no idea. But, zombies early might help us. Might actually help us, especially because pay to win does work with all of the humanoids. So do we... Yeah, you know what? Let's just take it. We're going to have to take some additional gold coins, but look at that. 15 damage right there. Ah, uh, do, 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 do. Yep, I'm always going to take that. I like it. Skip those because we cannot afford them. But we got to somehow counteract this pay to win. Little spin. I'm hoping that we can get enough gold to at least get us enough to pay for the zombie thing if it comes up. I'll take a gold pouch. We should have bought one additional column before we run out of gold. I'm going to do that now, actually. Buy the additional column. Oh, uh, yeah. Conjoined. We are going to roll so many zombies. Up, 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 up. You are probably dead. Oof. Look at the amount of extra spins there. Do we want any of these... Plant beast. I'm actually going to skip it. I'm going to skip all of those for now. That's nice. Add two damage to all of your humanoids. Nope, but I'm going to skip it. Well, I don't really have a choice. I didn't have the gold for it. But we're going to try and save up for one additional column as well. I think, what are we looking at? It's two, three, six, eight, uh, nine, twelve. Yeah, I'll take a tombstone. I'll take a tombstone. We're going to have uh, zombies coming out of everywhere, I think. But for now, that's doing a lot of damage. Grizzly bear. Yes, I'm going to take a serial killer as well. Because the serial killer is going to kill those zombies. Yes. And it's going to combo. We'll take this because, yeah. So, kill all adjacent humanoids. Deals damage equal to the number of humanoids killed this game by the serial killer times two. Plus, it gets the bonus from pay to win when that comes out. Plus, the tombstone's going to keep adding. I'm happy with that. I am extremely happy with that. I'm going to take a shrunken head as well because we have so many extra spins that shrunken head is doing 10 damage we're gonna have to dip into the extra spins though it looks like um do we skip i think we skip i don't want to blow to too much there's a corruption it is literally a just a blank slot okay that's fair. I'm going to skip again. Um, I'm fine. I am fine with that. I'm going to buy the additional column and I'm going to spin. 
We kind of want to save our gold. For what? In case we can bump up our humanoids damage. Got a greedy banker there. A magical seven. Hopefully we can get some more of those. Oh, nothing near the serial killer. Lucky you. Join twins. We could do with more of that. This counts as a humanoid, so I might actually take that. It's possible he will uh, chop him up a bit. But we're fine there. Maybe we could do anything, actually. We'll even take some thieves. We could take anything as long as it... Yeah, there we go. We got constant spaces. And he's just going to be doing more and more damage, so... You know what? Ooh. No, I'm going to take the Lone Shark. I'm going to take the Lone Shark, because there's a good chance these... Serial killer can actually kill the debt collector. Another serial killer? Yes, please. By this serial killer. Okay, so it's not... Ooh. Big damage, big damage. Pandora's box, another tombstone. Yes, please. By an additional column. We gotta worry about these corruptions. Because we've got six of them and there's nothing we can really do about it. Uh, that's an animal. I'm gonna skip. Transform and reanimate your weaker zombies into brand new ones indefinitely. Sure. Short to all of that. So now our zombies will be a bit stronger. We won't have decayed zombies. Which is nice. That's what I was hoping for. The serial killer is just going to be doing a massive chunk of damage. But we've got to be a little bit careful. It's another magical seven. Maybe... When did I get... Th I don't have three serial killers, do I? Also, what happens to all my extra spins? And you only have... You can't have five. I'm confused. Every turn, add a zombie to your inventory. Every turn. Yeah. I want that, surely. We took the debt collector out. This is good, no? I'm very confused. I'm a little bit confused with what's... Why does it say I have three? I most certainly did not take three. Um, yeah, I'll take a virus. That just gives us a bit of damage across the board. Nice. I'll take a few more of those. Gives us some more zombies to deal with. We've got eight of them at the moment. These corruptions are rough. They are super rough. Right, spin. He's doing 36 damage on his own. Um, take a Pandora's box. Considering all the, uh, oh my goodness. Might actually lose this one. So that corruption is actually terrible. Because that appears to be every time. Every time. How would you... How would you counter that? I don't actually know. 
because you've got next to no space. I guess you'd be looking for the icon. Ooh, I don't know. You're looking for high damage bits. It's a strange one. Or you kind of want to dilute the... You want to get loads of cards, actually, to try and counteract how many corruptions are being added. I don't know. I guess there's a few ways that we could do it. I'm just going to take loads of zombies, to be fair, because they're doing... They're doing five damage apart. They're feeding the serial killers. Look, he's doing 52 damage on his, his lonesome. I'll even take a greedy banker. Because we're doing 102... We got 102 gold coins. Greedy Banker's doing 12. Actually, that's... Yeah. It's okay. Uh... Nah, I'll take a Greedy Banker. I'm fine with this. So if he comes near the serial killer, he will get... He will uh, get damaged. Which is fine. Well, he won't get damaged. He'd be killed instantly. There we go, just like that. But that's more damage for us. I do like the 20-sided dice, though. Nope, greedy banker. Shrink? Nope. Okay, so he can't do diagonal. That's interesting. Magic 7. I'm going to take another one just to try and up the odds. This is what I want. Six spins. Yes, because we haven't got any extra spins anyway. Double your chances of receiving a legendary card. Sure. I don't think... I don't think that helps in longer than like future shops but we'll see right spin spin people with our 22 corruptions oof yeah this is definitely going to be rough not sure how we're going to do with this because we don't even have how can you be decayed like, how can you actually have a decayed zombie? I'm actually confused. Because you shouldn't allow that to happen. No? Five magical sevens. Very interesting. Skip that. Yep. Well, we've definitely lost this one. There's the extra turn. Oh, that's three. Ooh. Forgot it was three. We'll skip this. There's a serial killer. There's the other one some big boy damage there, but there's going to be so much more corruptions. So what happened to our tombstones? Oh, destroyed after five turns. Oh, I misread that. So we've not been able to feed these serial killers because I thought it just kept adding. Oh, that's my bad. Yeah, I think that might have actually... Uh... Lucky sevens? Lucky sevens? Come on, all three at once? Oh. But I don't get how you can be decayed. Because this literally says... Transform and reanimate your weaker zombies into brand new zombies. So... 
what's what's happening like what's actually the going on yeah okay I'm not sure about that run I've learned something I'll give you that definitely learned something so we're gonna jump back in we're gonna jump back in oh let's go with the gold coin so we get plus 10 starting gold So the final boss is going to get more health points based on the amount of cards we have. So we want to be a bit limited on what we choose. So let's not just pick things at random. Let's actually have, let's actually have a thought. So we plant we know the plants can do some massive damage decaying curse is a bit of a weird one it deals five damage which is fine well, i'm gonna take a cap if we can get some witches going fine because we could do we haven't seen the cauldron yet we might be able to get a blacksmith i'll just take a potion potions would be good because we can keep that limited which would be very good actually uh, unknown liquids that's what we wanted we'll spin that one is this going to do two damage already yep because we already used that other potion boom nice um ooh I will take the humanoid. Ah, oh, so close. Do I want fertilizers? No. I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna skip. We're gonna try to stick to potions. We might get a witch. See how it goes. Do 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 do. Wanna keep it as small as we possibly can. That's going to cost us three gold coins to add, but it's going to do extra damage. It'll bump up the unknown liquid in the long run. There's the witch's broom, so we'll take that. Again, that's costing us extra gold to do that. But now we're doing poison damage there. Should be okay. Yep, another potion. Got to get a lot more unknown liquids, I think. Are we even worried about the Philosopher's Stone? I think it's always a good one to get. Cultists. I'm going to take another gold pouch, actually. If we can get gold rolling, that'd be pretty nice. Not eaten into our extra spins. Happy with that. Uh... I'm gonna take I'm gonna take some gold coins. Move all strikes and villages from your deck. All cards that add one poison. Add poison, add one more poison. That's pretty good. Move all strikes and villages from your deck. I'm gonna do it. I'm not sure how I feel. Not sure how I feel about that. That's a one to three that we're lacking a bit. We're definitely going to lack on damage for this turn. Got some gold. More witches, sure. Because poison damage scales over time, really. Really? 
There's another witch. We haven't got any plants, so I don't want to do anything about that. I thought we could go potions, but it clearly doesn't seem to be the run for potions. There's a fertilizer. In case we get, like, a mushroom or something. I'll take it. I'll take it in case we get a mushroom. Or even a tree ant. Would be quite cool. Um, nope. I'm going to skip these. Like I said, trying to keep it as low as possible. Do with a villager. Actually. No. I've just realised... No, it says remove all strikes and villagers from your deck. It doesn't mean it removes it from the game completely. Oh, I was worried there for a minute. I'm going to take the Eternal Dice. Or the D6, according to this. Just for that bit more damage there. Not worried about pay to win, I don't think, in this particular case. I don't want to give up my gold. I feel like... Oh, do I do this for an extra villager? You know what? I hate it. I hate it, but we're doing it. We're going to get some additional cold coins. He's going to turn into a witch. Oh, are you joking? Uh, we'll skip. We'll skip. Use that last extra spin. Not sure. Not too sure about that one. If I'm being honest, boss. So we still have a fertilizer. I'll take another one. Yes, to the extra potions. And I'm going to skip. I'm going to skip. So the potions are a good thing, because that's going to scale our unknown liquid, which we don't seem to be getting many of. But look at that, that's already 8 damage each. So I'm very happy with that. I feel like you have to go Magical 7s. But you just don't know, do you? Shapeshifter, that's what I'm going to go for, because we've got Fertilizer. That's going to give it three poison. Uh, another unknown liquid. Yes, please. So they'll all be doing eight damage. Nine damage. Okay. It's not going to be enough, though. Another witch. I don't think it's going to be enough. Ooh. It, it just about is. Right, so what do we got? We haven't got any brooms. That's fine. Got fertilizer. Blacksmith, a random plant. I think we skipped this one. I think we spin it. He's going to die to poison anyway. Unknown liquids. Cool. Uh, start taking the magical sevens, I think. Yeah, we'll take that. Take that. Now we can start thinking about taking the dice if we really want to. We want high damage. High damage values. Buy an extra column, just in case. It's nice and early, so yeah, we, we would have been one over, which is relatively decent. Eight-sided die is just eight damage. I mean, that's fine. It'd be quite cool if you could turn the, uh, the dice into, like, poison. That'd be pretty cool. So... 
between these two, right? If we had to get our math brain on, Toxic Mushroom would turn into the Poison Mushroom or whatever it was, which do you just does three poison. The Potion of Strength would bump up all of our unknown liquids, which will do one damage each. Yeah. I'm going to go with a Mushroom. I'm trying to think what would give us the most damage over time. Now, in this particular case, I think you go for the Unknown Liquid. Because that's definitely valuable. Because they'll be doing 10. Oh, no. 9. Because we never actually took the potion the other day. Uh, Magical 7. Yep, I think we take that again. We just need one more. We'll be in a good spot. Oh. Uh, let's take another one. Sure. But it does a consistent 8 damage. You're not too worried about that. Problem is, we haven't really scaled into anything in particular. So Greedy Banker here is going to do 10. Eh... Is that enough? Sounds strange, but I'm going to skip. Do this. Artifacts in the future shops cost halfway less. Sure. And we'll take this. We'll do extra damage uh, for the final boss. Wants to gain 60 HP for every extra roll you have. Haha, -ha, sucker. I haven't got any. We need a magical seven. That's where we're at. Oh. I really wanted this treant. But versus the Tesla coil? I'll take Tesla coil, surely. We haven't even got a fertilizer to upgrade the tree at the moment. 18. I don't think we do this, to be fair. I don't think we make it. Unless we start getting an incredible amount of potions. To bump up these unknown liquids. Where's my... Uh these Tesla coils. They sit in such awkward spots. So there's a magical seven. So we'll get three extra spins. At least. Anything promising? What is this? Okay, so we won't go into our extra spins. Pandora's box is going to be... One, two, three, four, five, six. Twelve damage. I'm going to take the potion of richness. I need to up these unknown liquids. That's what I need to do. Here's a cauldron. If you have a witch, brew a potion of strength. Yes. Yes. Brew all of those. Add five poison to the enemy at the start of each battle. Yes. Uh, add one magical seven, one cultist, or one philosopher's stone to your inventory. Yes, I'm going to take a Philosopher's Stone. Right, so we are now on the final boss. He has an incredible amount of health, but we have three extra spins, so there's that. Still have a gap here. So we're going to be able to trigger this cauldron a couple times. Um, let's take the 20-sided die. Because we know we've got the, um, what is this here, Pip die. It's going to just deal a consistent 20 damage. Excalibur does 30 damage. I thought it was only once. That's incredible. Alright, skip and spin. 
I misjudge how good this... Oh my god. Excalibur with the Tesla coil. Oh, I'm not worried about this run at all now. Not at all. Tesla coil, again, hitting something half decent. I mean, I'll go for another Tesla coil. Let's risk it a bit. We're in a good spot to do that. There we go. There's some buffed up potions. Yeah, we're fine. I mean, look at that. Where's all... These Tesla coils hit some strange things. I'm so happy. Right, we got the coin down. I think in the next one, we're going to try and complete the last curse. And then we'll see where we go from there. But with that, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see some more, consider subscribing to the channel. And I will catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.